Hey everyone, it's Jen and today I want to talk to you all about retinol. So retinol is derived from vitamin A. Vitamin A helps to fight free radical damage. Now, what is free radical damage? It's basically anything that can cause damage to the skin. So it's usually stress, sleep, diet, um, the sun's harmful rays, environmental pollution, all of those things affect how the skin looks, feels, and how it ages. So since retinol is derived from vitamin A and helps to combat those adverse effects, it does help to soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It helps to reduce the appearance of sunspots and age spots, and it does help to improve the overall texture of your skin. Now I would suggest before adding in something like an active ingredient like this, talk to your dermatologist, especially if you suffer from any inflammatory skin condition like acne, rosacea, or eczema. You wanna make sure that you're helping the skin and not hurting the skin more. You also wanna make sure that you're adding in an active ingredient that works with whatever else you're already using and incorporates well with your current skincare routine. Something to note about retinol is that you should not use it if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. And it's also important to note that there are some adverse effects to using this product. You could experience excessive dryness, peeling, itching, flaking, redness. Some people feel some stinging. Um, everyone's different. It depends on the person and depends on the formulas. That being said, there are a ton of great over-the-counter options at your local Walgreens, and they tend to be a lot less aggressive than what you'd get prescribed at the dermatologist's office. So it might be a good place to start. Now, when you choose a retinol to use into your routine, I would say start slow. You wanna start with one day a week, see how your skin feels, do that for a couple weeks, and then if it's doing well, you can add in a second day and progress to a third and to a fourth. Some people like to use retinol every single night. Some people like to use it just a couple times a week. It's really up to you and what your goals are. Now, when you're applying your retinol, I always like to apply it first before any other skincare, and you only need a pea-sized to a dime-sized amount that will work plenty for all over your face and your neck. Give it a beat, and then you can follow in with your moisturizers and serums and all the other good stuff. So there you go. I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe down below. And if you want to know more about me and my work, you can check it out at jenbrownmakeup.com.